Hi, this is part of a series of spectroscopy tutorials looking at infrared vibrational spectroscopy uh, with a little bit of a twist. So we'll have a look at the spectrum and see if we can correlate it to the actual vibrational modes of the molecule using a JML structure, so a 3D structure for you to look at. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, let's have a look at this. Uh, the next one. We've got phenyl benzoate, which is an ester. Okay, so let's just put it in some kind of position we can see the ester. So you've got your carbonyl stretch here, you've got your oxygen there, so you've got a nice carboxylate group, and you've got two phenyl groups, one on, on the uh, carbonyl there, and one on the oxygen, single oxygen. And if we look at the spectrum here, um, it's not the best looking spectrum I've ever seen in my life, but, you know, sometimes this happens. So, um, so it's got um, a limited absorbance in this region here where the CHs normally come and and then if we look at the carbonyl for the carboxylate there we just click on that it's, uh, it's nice and sharp there so nice strong absorbance in that region there for the carbonyl and if you look on the uh, JML structure here and the 3D structure you see that vibrates and I'll just try and zoom in a little bit doesn't want to play Okay. Okay, so we go through the spectra a little bit. Again, there's nothing there. So we've got some vibrations here. I went to the um, CH groups here. And these are just wiggles. So these are wiggles out, not. I'll just orientate it a little bit better. So you can see these are wiggling from side to side here. So they're not outer plane um, stretches, they're actually in plane wiggles. Okay. And they're not scissor bends or anything like that, simply because uh, this this carbon um, and hydrogen are just moving um, in the xy coordinate there. There's no, there's no asymmetric stretch from this one, it's in some kind of torsional scissor bend. That's just a normal wiggle. We we'll go through here. This is an interesting one. This is like a, a Catherine wheel wiggle. So they're all going in unison in the same direction here. If you, if you look at the vectors that have been put on here. That's another thing about this site as well, it actually puts the vectors on so you can have a, a really good feel for um, you know, where, the, where the direction of the vibrations are going. I think it's really, really useful. And again, we've got some um, similar kind of stretching. Here you can see this, the vibrational frequency is actually contributing from lots, lots of the molecules there, that's why it's in the fingerprint region. Again, we've got this Catherine wheel type of effect, but these two are going in the opposite directions to these three. And this is the kind of thing you would find it very difficult to predict, to be fair. I mean, you, you wouldn't expect people to... It's not, it's not playing that one. You wouldn't expect people to be able to predict that the vibrational frequency of this peak here is contributing from that. And these are all really determined from molecular orbital calculations where you can... You can vibrate the molecules and just see what the frequencies are. These these actually fall out of some of the molecular orbital calculations you do. And I do believe that this one's been done using a, a what's called a semi-empirical method called MORPAC, which is, is quite a useful method uh, for determining energies of molecules and vibrational frequencies and things like that. And they've just linked the two up. So this molecule will be associated with a set of vibrational frequencies and, and these will be, um, the normal modes will be matched with the spectrum. So that's phenol benzoate. Not very exciting. I think if, you, if you're going to look at this um, from spectrum, you're interested in whether you've made it. For example, in the lab, you have a look for that vibrational frequency there. If I can click on it, there we are. And that'll be uh, your carbonyl stretch for um, your ester. And that's coming at 1714 um, wave numbers. So that's phenyl benzoate. So that's it for now. Do, do have a look at the theoretical video on infrared spectroscopy and look out for a few more of these examples as well. So bye for now.